Hey guys, I uh, wanted to make a quick tutorial about uh, the array tool and the array tool might save you a lot of time so that's why I wanted to explain it um, uh, what it is, is it is basically a, a simple or, or rather an automated copy paste um, option or a smarter way to do it that's more accurate so I have here in my scene a cylinder and a curve uh, I'm going to use the curve later um, so what if I wanted to make a whole uh, area that's filled with these uh, cylinders I could go and copy paste it and move it and stuff like that and that will take an awful lot of time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cyl uh, cylinder go to the array tool and here you can see a couple of options um, right now I'm going to make 10 copies of it along the x-axis and you can if you for example uh, put in a value here it will um, create a, uh, a slightly angled direction so to speak but I'm not going to do it right now um, the step size I'm going to make it 1.1 um, so uh, I'll, I'll have a little bit of space in between the cylinders okay let's hit ok and as you can see it created a nice array of cylinders now I can of course do this again uh, I just select all the cylinders and I'll make an array this time not along the x x-axis so I'll put in a zero here uh, but this time along the z-axis so let's put in a 1.1 again and hit ok takes a little bit longer but voila here we have all our cylinders and I don't know why these are close together. And B. Oh wait, I think um, I think I made a little mistake here. Um, let's do this again. All right, so 1.1 along the x-axis, and let's click the array. Let's not uh, select all the individual ones. put in a 0 here and put in a 1.1 and just for this tutorial sake I'm just going to put in a number of 4 copies because um, well you can put in any number you want of course and strangely, strangely enough uh, I see what, what it's doing now what it's doing is it um, when I put in the value uh, 1.1 it uh, basically says one tenth of the original object size will be in between the objects but what it does now the array creates an empty object called um, a null or something I don't know how to yeah, a, a null so that's basically an object that is basically nothing it, it just has a position, it's a point in space it creates that and somehow it um, uses this to measure the distance so that's not what we want let's do it again real quick 1.1 right so now instead of selecting this null object let's just um, select the cylinders and do the array again 1.1 it should be 0 here alright and there we go it's a lot better so here we have our square here filled with cylinders so that will save you a lot of time if you um, need a lot of copies of your model into your scene
So, of course, there's another uh, good way to use this array, and that's uh, uh, with the use of a curve. So, for instance, if you wanted uh, multiple of these objects uh, placed along a certain path, you can create a curve right here, and you can go to the array tool again, and this searches for uh, all the curve objects, and you can select uh, the curve you want. You can again use uh, the number of copies, but you can also um, choose the step size. And I'm also going to make this 1.1, so that's um, a tenth of the uh, length of the um, cylinder in between the, s the second one. Uh, the, the first and the second. Um, you have an option called uh, orientation follows the curve. So, for instance, if you have, um, let's say, a model of a human being or something who is walking or standing or whatever, and you want them all to be facing along this path as, as if they are walking along it, so then you need to click this box because uh, it will align them along the, this orientation. Uh, use original position or orientation um, that uh, means that um, it uses the orientation or the position of this uh, in fact I I have to admit I don't quite know what uh, original position would do but uh, I encourage you to experiment with it yourself right so now here here we have um, our little cylinders all copied along this line so um, it's a really easy way to replace um, copy pasting your objects in the scene if you have um, if there's a, a system behind it so to speak if that um, if, if they are not random you can uh, probably use the array tool for uh, copying objects into your scene. So I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you all later.